Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome to Kranatoka Plays MMOs. This time, we will be playing one of the biggest MMOs probably ever created. And that is Elite Dangerous. It's I say it's a pretty big MMO because there is a whole galaxy to explore. Literally, this our galaxy, you can explore it. I just... Well, obviously, you know, they've made up the names of stars and that, you know, just for... Because they... Not every, not every star in our galaxy has a name. That would take us so many lifetimes to give, give each star a name. I actually backed Kickstarter a couple of years ago. Was it a couple of years ago now? I can't remember. And when they got over, a one, I think, 1.6 million pounds for this game or something. And I pledged 90 quid to begin with, and then I wanted to get into the beta, so I moved it up to 100. But I haven't played much of this game. The only times I've played it is a brief, mo few brief moments in the beta. And when I went to EGX, I wanted to use the Oculus Rift for it, but I didn't get in the correct line, so I never got to try it. So before we get into the game, y well, before you get into the game, I should say, you really should, and I and I mean you really should, do the training. Do every single one of these trainings before you get into the main game, purely because you'll get into the main game and you'll be like. What? What? I, I, where, where do I start? I, uh, so, once you've done all this training, then you, you're just about the, you're just about ready to get into the main games. I've already, I've already progressed, uh, probably about a couple hours in, maybe just an hour in. And basically, the, the way it starts, you choose a ship because I, 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 because I, I was a backer, I had a few ships to choose from. I chose the Explorer, so. Uh, I don't know how much different it looks. I think that is my ship you're seeing on the screen right now. I don't know how much different it is. Unfortunately, you can't choose another ship until your first ship is destroyed. So until the ship you're in is gone or been destroyed, you can't choose another. Or obviously, you know, once you get more money, you can get another ship and so forth. But once you die, you start out in a brand new ship which you can choose. But until then, you have to try and build up your money to get new ships. That's as far as I think that's what you got to do and the loading screens has taken a long time also even though the game kind of runs in 60 frames per second I'm actually gonna run this at 30 frames per second purely because for recording purposes so if it looks a bit sluggish I apologize but it should look alright and it's still taking its long it's still taking a long time to load come on I want to show the game off and here we are in Elite Dangerous so when you start out you literally start out in a dock like this I'm in a Duckworth dock at the moment because I um, handed in a mission so if I go to starport services so I'll, I'll yeah let's open the starport services and I will show you right you look at this and you're like um yeah okay so it's it will take a little while for you to actually understand what the hell is going on so munitions you know that's just um I have no idea what munitions are. I don't know why I even bothered to click on that. But the bulletin board. The bulletin board is where everything happens, which is where you really should pay more pay, pay more attention to. So these are the available missions at this port. So the available missions is combat contracts for Aona, fourteen thousand credits, which is we've been legal uh, legalizing. We've been liaising with various system authorities in the sector, and I managed to broker a great combat opportunity. We have a kill request for private vet for pirate vessel destruction in the Aona system. Good luck, Commander. So you can take this mission on. You've got three hours to do it in. Well, this is the time left to do it in. Otherwise, oh well. Uh, the special mission will fail on ship destruction. Yeah, so there's no there's no penalty no penalty this time if. If you die, you die, and you have to start all over again. Uh, so this is practically a permadeath game. I think it's a permadeath game. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't got that far much into it, but it feels like it is. Um, obviously, I'm going to decline this because I haven't really got into any of the uh, fighting missions yet. Obviously, I've done the training for fighting missions, but I'm more reluctant to just do it. Uh, and obviously, you get like the big ones like this. Looking for, looking to hire hunters. Carrier signal decrypting message re retrieved re uh, recently. The exploits of Stephen Cock. Uh, impacting on the client's business, legislate side. I don't know how to say it. Legis legis whatever. Uh, you'll be doing everyone a favor by taking this trash out. But to be clear, this mission is off the books. Up to you how much heat you want to pull on this one. So you've got to try and kill this person, whoever this is. But the reward is fantastic. 170,000. Considering you know just to travel to another system and. A uh, trade is, I don't know, about 3,000. That reward is fantastic, but you are risking everything. And it, it, 
because the because the bounty is so high, there's a there's a there's a probable chance you might die. I rhymed. Yeah, you'll probably die. So I'm I'm currently just sticking to trading at the moment until I ha until I can upgrade my uh, my ship to better things. So urgent commander commander's filling her with marauding needed. We are in need of a reliable individual capable of taking a shipment of liquor to Ellis Ring over in Marauding. Remunerated at 3,086 credits per trip. Per trip? Ooh. Prompt delivery will be met with prompt payment. Plenty of work available for those who prove themselves worthy. So I'm going to accept that. I've already got a mission um, in my ship. Uh, and we shall take a look at my ship right now. So, do you want to see how gorgeous the ship looks? Well, this is how gorgeous. Unfortunately, you clip into your head, but, you know. Never mind, that doesn't really matter about it. I'm not too fussed about it. Um, so, yeah. Doesn't this ship look absolutely beautiful? It's, oh god, it's just so beautiful. So, anyway, where were we? Uh, right, so because we have, the missions we have, these are my transactions. I got a hundred, I got a hundred, um, credit fine, which is gonna be taken away from me in, um, 21 hours. I do like this. I, If you get a fine, they give you time to build up the money before they take it away from you. That's nice. I do like that. If uh, It's kind of, well then, kind of, yeah, kind of Earth does that as well. We do that right here, don't we? Yeah. Anyway, uh, so, we have two missions to do. We have to transport the liquor to Ellis Ring and deliver scrap to LTT 5053 for conversion. We are going to go to this one because the timer is the shortest, so I need to go to... The LTT 5053 system, if I can remember that. Uh, so, navigation, LTT 50, that's 5058. I need 50 what? 5053. I need 5053. Where's that 5053? That's 5058. Oh, uh, nope. Come on, if I can get to it. There we are. That's 5058, but not 5053. Um. Okay, I'm a bit confused now. I don't know where. Cause it, should, it would it would appear in your locations if you got the mission, wouldn't it? Hmm. Five zero five three LTT five zero five three. Well, if I if I put it into the system map, then oh, trying to control this game as well can be a bit <laughs> tricky. You have got to be a bit careful. Uh, system map. Uh, access the system. Or, oh, I don't need this one. That's not this one I want. Well, at least, well this gives you. Oh, I like. I haven't seen this. Ooh, I like this. It gives you information about the system you're in. Ah, that's pretty cool. But no, we don't need this one. We need... Ah, here we go. Um, LTT5058. I need 5053, though. Um, that's 58. What's 53? God damn it! Oh, if we search for it, maybe we'll be able to find it. LTT5053. Uh, aha! There it is. That's the one we want. So we'll select the destination, and then we shall make our way over there. So, I actually have a joystick. Yeah, I have a joystick, and that's how I'm playing. That's how I'm playing this game. At first, it was difficult, and your hands really hurt when you're trying to battle someone. But you, you, you sort of get used to it after a while. So I'm going to launch. Um, and then it'll take me to the surface, and then I'll be able to launch from. Duckworth Dock, as, it, as you can see in the letters right there. And then we have all of time and space. No, just all of space, unfortunately. We have all of space to do whatever we want. I've got to wait for me to actually. Come on. There we go. Thank you. And now we have all of space to explore. Unless you have the. If you don't have the fuel, you won't be able to explore. It literally says to you, you cannot go to this place until you have. Um, enough fuel or a bigger fuel tank to do it. So, yeah, you have freedom, but not that much freedom. So, we need to go to L2, uh, L2, LTT 5053. I can't say it properly. Uh, so, we are locked onto that, I believe. Are we locked onto it? I think we are. Yes. Uh, right, so, we need to get out of the mass lock because you cannot enter hyperdrive or um, the, like, the speed, the hype, whatever speed it is. There's a hyperdrive and then there's the other one. I can't remember what it is. Um, but we can't get, go, can't go fast until we are out of the mass locked. Because when you're at a space station, your ship will be mass locked. So you, there we are. So I've, I'm now out of the mass lock. I'm going to raise my landing gear as well. Because I forgot to. Right. And now we can do, oh no we can't, we can't do frame shift. Destination target 
up skill. Oh, is it because? Oh, don't tell me my target is. Ah, oh, I think I know why. My my target. This hasn't happened to me before. I think my target is behind the space station or behind the plan. Oh, come on! It's behind the plan. <laughs> okay, I need to try and get I need to try and get uh, behind the planet. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to unlock that now. Because I can't, because because I'm locked to that destination, I can't uh, do the thingy. I forgot what it's called, so I'm gonna have to unlock myself. How do I unlock myself? I don't really know. Uh, what am I doing? Right, so I've unlocked my destination, and now I can do this, and I can get around the planet, so I can get to my destination. Uh, so yeah, this is technically more of a training simulator and a combat simulator. So it's really however you want to play. So. We are now going extremely fast, 100, 100, 200, 300 kilometers a second, 400, 500. And there we go, and now I can get around the planet. We can't go to the planet, unfortunately. Um, they, they, they haven't added that yet. I think they're they said they're going to add that in the future. There's all of these uh, unidentified sources. I've tried going to them, but I can't seem to find, I can't seem to figure out what they are. I can't, or I can't seem to get to them. Because I'll, I'll, I'll lock onto it. Oh, right. So I've locked onto it. It's telling me safe distance uh, ready, but I'll go to the thing, and it won't even take me to the thing. Whatever. It is. I'm guessing these unidentified signal sources are players. Sometimes, that's my guess. But should we see if we can figure out what it is? I, we probably won't be able to. Oh, I'm going too fast, and I've gone right past it. Uh, th this happens to me a lot. If you go too fast, you will go past it. But I think I... Uh, it's somewhere this way. I think so. If I can align to it. Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Align to it. Align to it. There it is again. Uh, so, safe, dis safe disengage ready. Well, I will. But it won't take me to the thing which I found. Uh, Commander, you're carrying cargo for scum of the guy. Oh, crap! No! But I'm here to offer you redemption. What? And more profit of the same. Check your transactions tab for more details. Okay. Uh, a knife in the back. Listen, Commander, I want revenge on your employer, and I'm willing to pay big to get it. If you reroute your delivery of liquor to my agents in the Hanau Vies system, my victim's really going to get it. Ah, revenge will be sweet, sure. Uh, sure, you're going to get a chunk of blame, but trust me, I can make it worth your while. Hello? There's someone around here. Oh. So, I've been given a choice. That Remember that mission I picked up in that dock? They're giving me an alternate reward, which is only a little bit more than what I, I was originally being offered. I'm worried that I'm going to decline... And, uh, or I'm going to abandon it or something, and they're going to start attacking me. I don't think I'm going to do it purely because I don't want to make any enemies just yet. Although, you know, I suppose he'll be my enemy, wouldn't he? Um. Now, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that. But, I, that's the first time I've encountered that. This, there's so much to do in this game, and I'm loving it. So, anyway, where were we going? We were going to 5053. So, let us go to 5053. We need to pop up and in again, because it's not in our location thing for some stupid reason. Uh, no, wrong one, wrong one. LTT 5053. And now we'll finally go to that system, and we shall lock it in place. Oh, let's plot the route. Uh, come on, and uh, select. Wonderful. Now we can finally go. <laughs> we can finally go there. Uh, right, so it's going to charge. And then we need to point in the direction we need to go. It's going to take a little while to charge. Come on, come on, come on. I, I, I just, I really, I'm really enjoying this game. I didn't think I would. Because I tried, I tried. There's, a, there's someone else as well. I tried to enjoy EVE Online, but I just couldn't do it because it took too long to get into the, the actual meat and potatoes of the game, and uh, I just couldn't do it. Maybe I'll come back to it one day, it might have improved, who knows, but we'll see. My destination is over here. I took the long way around, but never mind. Uh, where, where, no, where the hell is, what? No, where's my destination? Where is it? I thought, I thought, no, that's a ship. I was, wonder, I was wondering where. <laughs> I wasn't pointing it. I can't find it. Where is it? Oh, is it there? Is it down? 
no, that's the planet. I don't need the planet. God's sake. Aha! There it is. Now we need to align with the target destination. We have aligned. And now, throttle up! Bye bye, person who is pretty much spying on me or trying to make me do something bad, which I don't want to yet. Maybe I will in the future, but not right now. And here we are in hyperspace. Doesn't it look pretty? It looks absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if the hyperspace changes each time you do it, but I, it might do. I mean, it just looks so beautiful. I mean, look at that. Whoa! And here we are. We need to get away from the sun before we crash into it. Uh, although I think it, I think it has like a safety measure so that you don't crash into it. Um, but anyway, we need to now go to. If I bring that down, just put us into a gentle cruise. We now need to go to. Where is it? This one. The Virtual Depot. Uh, have we got a Virtual Depot in it? We have! So we can lock on to the Virtual Depot, lock destination. And now I just need to find the Virtual Depot <laughs> on the map. Uh, it's got to be one of these p uh, little pinpoints. Just where though? Uh, Virtual Depot! There we go! And now we can just travel there. So if I, if I was going at just this speed, if I just bring, it to, bring us to this speed, it will take quite a few days for us because we you if you wanted to you literally could just leave it like this and in 140 114 days you'll get there you could if you wanted to but we're not so we're gonna actually make our way there so it'll take a lot shorter time uh, one hour it'll go down to like a few seconds in about a minute or so so yeah that and those little blue dots those are other people going places so he's probably going to virtual depot as well I'm finding all these astronomical objects um, I don't know if I'll bother with fire going to those yet maybe after we've been to virtual depot we'll see if we can find those but we shall see so eight minutes seven minutes six minutes five four three two so that ah so that's what that unidentified source was it was an alternate choice I see so it probably was a person probably bleeding out saying Hey, we got an offer for you, or we're going to attack you. So it's up to you if you want to go to the unidentified sources, I'm assuming. Uh, so I go to them just to see what there is, but I get the feeling it may lead to my death one day. So far, no one's attacked me, even though there's been quite I've encountered quite a few people. So fortunately, no one has attacked me. But it, they probably will, because there are pirates in this galaxy, you've got to <laughs> think. Um, so yeah, uh, I better slow down. Resource extraction site. Ooh, ooh! I may have to get get to that at some point. I'm guessing those two people are going to that site there. Ooh, that's interesting. Maybe I'll go there at some point. Uh, right. So we are in the virtual depot. Well, we're nearing there. Uh, so, excuse me, while I just dock in there. Ooh, what a lovely planet. Looks uh, quite pretty. It looks like Saturn, to be honest with you. No, actually, no. It looks like it's got Saturn's rings, but it looks. Oh no, it looks weird. Kind of looks like Saturn, but I don't think it is Saturn. Uh, right, so slowly but surely I get there. One contact lost. You'll get contacts uh, appearing and disappearing all the time. You don't need to worry about that. It's just to say, oh, you can chat to this person or I don't know. Hail them or something like that. Uh, right. Come on, come on. Slowly but surely. Come on. Oh, better slow down. Once I've slowed down enough, it'll tell me to disengage the dry. Okay, okay, bye! <laughs> I've gone past it. Uh, this happens to me a lot. I'm always going past it. Stupid me. Now I need to turn around. Great. Where are you, Virchow? That's not you. You there? There you are. So many unexplored things. That's. See, when they release this game, there's so many things that just need that are just waiting to be explored. That's what I love about games like this. Just finding things and seeing the outcomes of your decisions. It's, it's so beautiful. It really is. You can get this game now. It is out now. And I would recommend you buying it if you are... If, whoa, hello. If you love space things. Is that... What the heck are they? Look like comets or something. If you love things like this, you oh god, this is the game for you. If you play Vive Online, this is the game for you. Obviously, you got Star Citizen coming out, and I'm going to buy that when that comes out. Um, so yeah, you gotta have patience with this game. I will, I will admit to that. You, it does take a little while to get to places sometimes. Just, just for what a measly reward, but 
This is how you build reputations. You know, in real life, if this was real, safety engaged, so now I can come out of it. And it will plot me right by the um, depot anyway. And here we are, Virtual Depot. Uh, so, yeah. What was I saying? I completely forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, you've got to have patience with this game. Um, it does take a little while for you to build up your reputation, your rank. But, you know, if, the, if you want this to be your life, this could be your life, if you know what I mean. So, if you have an Oculus Rift, put it on. This could be your life for a few hours each day, if you wanted to. And if you die, well, you don't die in real life, obviously. Unless it's what? What's the game? What's that? What's that anime called? Sword Art Online. Unless it's Sword Art Online, then you will die. <laughs> but it's not. Right. So we are at the Virtual Depot. So I now need to request for docking. So let us do that right now. I need contacts. Oh, oh, there we are. Virtual Depot. Request docking. I'm assuming if it's full, then you won't be able to dock. But so far, that's not happened to me so far. I just said so far twice. Uh, right, and there is docking bay one, which is what I need. Landing pad one, I should say. And we shall go over there right now. Uh, uh. Come on, slowly but surely. And right, slow down. And slowly. So it's going to take a bit of concentration here. All right, there's my landing gear. Come on. Right, so, and as you can see, uh, the little icon in the bottom of the screen will tell me how close I am to the pad and if I'm ready to drop down. So, slowly. There we go, and now I can drop down. And I'm locked! Locked, I say docked, you know what I mean. So! And here we are, we are now at the Virtual Depot and now I can go to Starport Services and I can hand in the quest which I picked up or the mission that I picked up. Go to the bulletin board. And there we go, deliver cargo, scrap for credit services available now. Uh, you've done a very, you've done a good job, uh, that, you've done a good job, Commander. With the inevitable likelihood of further traffic management glitches in the future, we'll be sure to seek out your services again. Please complete the contract so that we can authorize payment for the job. Give cargo. And there we go. And then it'll tell me uh, what my influence is and everything like that. So my affiliation was to the Federation. The effect, Econic, boom, whatever the hell that means. My influence is 1%. My reputation is still neutral at the moment. But I'm assuming as you build reputation, you can choose who you want to affiliate with. But so far, I've got no affiliations. Uh, and there we go. So that was that mission. So what should we do this time? Uh, sh oh, I was going to say, should we do... The thing is, I don't want to do a battle mission in while recording because I'm at 30 frames per second and trying to fight in 30 frames per second will not work. It won't work. It will... No. Just just won't work because... Uh, it, I mean, it will, but it will take me a long time. These are available at unattained missions. I can't do these until uh, I am... Um, uh, a high enough reputation with someone, I believe. Wait, our recycling operations aren't going. We need here. We have increased bandwidth from the support the shipment of scrap. Oh, okay. So, I need to get some scrap. And okay, unfortunately, I've got no scrap. Um, unless there's some on the market. I don't think there would be though. Uh, any scrap? 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 I can't see any scrap. There we go. I've got some scrap. The demand is low. Uh, can I buy any? I can't buy. Oh, God damn it! I can't buy any. Ah. Okay. So scrap is something you can only sell. Okay. Never mind then. I guess I'll have to find scrap. I, I assume you get scrap from blowing people up. I, I guess. I don't know if that's that's how you do it. I'm still I'm still learning this game myself, to be honest. Uh, oh yeah. I should probably uh, refuel and everything. So I have now refuel. I said refuel. There we go. And we shall repair all. There we go. I am now fully repaired. And I, and I have 41,000 credits to buy. I have no idea what. Uh, right. Shall we go to the bulletin board? What shall we actually do now? Uh, heavy duty transport ships required for into endurance landing. What's this? Uh, LTT5053 holdings. We are proud to produce some of the finest mineral extractors to be found anywhere in the LTT5053 system. Now, if you're interested in seeing what it's like working in a successful up and corner, comma, uh, then how about you shift a load of mineral um, extractors over to endurance landing in Japan as soon as possible. Get that done, and we can talk about what kind of future you might have with our com. Ooh. Okay, so I need to. Do I need to take some minerals over to 
Yeah, I do. I need to take some mineral extractors to um, the Barons of Japan. What? What? How are you? Saying? Weird names. I'll get used to it one day. Uh, and it's eight light years away. There was like an explosion downstairs for some reason. And the fine, if I don't succeed, is four thousand credits. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna see if I can do it. My what? What? I have no idea what she just said. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, do remember, this game is live. Uh, the time is 2.45 on the 26th of December, 3,300. Uh, 3, so, 1,286 years in our future. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is done. So this whole game is in real time. So watch out. So we need to go to. We've got knife in the back as well, but we're going to do this one first. Uh, right. So we need to go to Barons. No, the starport is. Oh, it's in the Jumpuan Wa system. Okay. So let's see if we can find the Jumpuan Wa system. <laughs> so many unexplored things. Maybe I should go and explore them, and then I can stake my claim on them. Nah, come back to it another time. I, there's, there's, there's a whole galaxy out there. I'll stake my claim on something in the future. Uh, I just botched that up. God damn it. Uh, jump on one. Lock, uh, lock destination. I need to get out of the starport first before I can even do that. Look, just look at that. Look at that. Just, oh god, it's, it's so beautiful. Just look at the galaxy. The galaxy will all, all will always change depending on where you are in the galaxy. So. From this point in the galaxy, this is how it would look. Beautiful. Just just beautiful. Obviously, if you go somewhere else in the galaxy, you'll see it from a different point of view. But anyway, we need to get out of the mass lock. Come on, get out of the mass lock. Come on, come on. Bring up my landing gear, of course. Oh, I didn't realise that having your landing gear out makes you go faster. Uh, slower. Uh, I didn't realise that. Again, still learning. Right, so now we can go to where we need to go. Uh, engage hyperdrive. I have no idea where it is. I'm assuming uh, I should go to the little blue dot on the... If you see above the map in the top left corner of the map, I'm assuming that is where you have to go. I don't know if that is or not, but I'm just assuming. Uh, no, I guess not. Is it down, actually? I guess not then. Okay. Uh, so where have I got to go? I don't really know. Um, I guess it's for me. It's usually just a matter of looking around for it, uh, and I never find it first time. Aha! Oh, so it was this blue dot, but it told me it wasn't. Oh. Okay. Never mind then. I guess we're gonna go to Japan One. Ah. <sighs> three, three, two, one. Hyperspace! I love hyperspace. It's so beautiful. But it, it, it only lasts a short period of time. I'd like to be in hyperspace for like a good 10 minutes sometimes. But I guess maybe if you're going elsewhere, possibly? I don't really know. You'll always be taken to the star, it seems. That's, I've, I've always noticed that. I don't know if that's intentional, but I've always been taken to the star. Uh, I don't need to go to Nav Beacon. Where do I need to go? I need to go to... Uh, uh, the Durance Landing. Okay, so let us find the Durance Landing. Durance Landing, lock destination. And now we need to find the Durance Landing somewhere. I don't know where though. Time for me to look around again. Oh, there it is. Okay, D the, the direct opposite of where I was going. Uh, right, and now we shall speed up to the Durance Landing. Not King's Landing, mind you. Durance Landing. Bye, sun. Let's look at the sun. Oh my god, I'm blinded! No! What, is, what was that? Delicacy. Oh, I didn't notice that. I haven't noticed that before. Alright, uh, so. Apparently my trade rank is penniless. Well, that's complete crap. Uh, I've got no bounty on me. Thank god for that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm just looking around now. This is stuff I have in my cargo, liquor, and mineral extractors. And I have no faction at the moment. Oakley dokley. And this is just everything about my ship and all that. Cool, cool. So we've got another little while before we get there. Good minute. So I'm actually going to fade to when we get there. So I shall see you once we reach Durance Landing. And here we are at Durance Landing. Do you know, this game just proves how small things are in the galaxy. Because 
Think of how far I was back there and look at it now. It looks so small and then you'll reach it and it looks so big. And it just proves just how small things really are in the galaxy and it's... Oh god, it's beautiful. I need to get an Oculus Rift so I can play this in Oculus Rift because this would just be this would just be phenomenal in Oculus Rift. But I wonder if I'd be able to see my joystick and all that. I don't know if I would be able to or not. But anyway, oh, there's an unexplored planet. Should I go and explore it? Do I go explore it? Eh, we'll go to Durant's Landing first and see if anyone's explored it, but probably not. Um, Alright, come on. Durant's Landing, Durant's Landing, come on. I shall bring my power down. Wait until it tells me to disengage. Whenever it's going to tell me to disengage. Tell me to disengage, God damn it! There we go, now I can safely disengage. And here it is! Durant's Landing! Not King's Landing. I should probably I should probably tell you from what I said earlier when I said to you this could be your life. Obviously, this won't be your life because you do need to eat and you do need to work if you have a job. So don't think this will be your life. Just think of this as a a life you wish you could have. Because this is a life I wish I could have. If I could if I could explore the galaxy, oh god, it would be a dream come true. But unfortunately, it will never happen in this timeline. Never, never happen. Right, so. Now, we're in a no-fire zone, obviously. We need to go and request for docking. Request docking. docking request. I'm always going to landing pad one. I'm assuming there's no one in these areas. I guess it's not as busy as I thought it was going to be. Um, right, so I need to find land. The only thing I hate about, how, if, about going to a docking station is trying to find the landing pad. Because sometimes it'll be on like a surface like over here. Sometimes it'll be in a, you have to go inside. And one time it took me forever just to try and find the entrance. I eventually found it, but I assume if, you, if you're trying to find the entrance, look for all the lights. Like all the advertisements and all of that. Obviously advertisements you can't understand, but obviously look for all of them and then you'll you'll find where you need to go. Anyway, I better get my landing equipment out. And we shout slowly but surely. Oh dear! I said slowly but surely. Uh, dock. And now we shall drop. Oh. Oh no. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. Dock then. Ah, uh, maybe I'm not the right way around. I don't think I'm the right way around. Better turn myself around quickly then. Turning, I'm turning. Turning, 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 turning. Come on, come on, I'm. There we go. I was gonna say, what the heck is going on? <laughs> ah, so Starport services, and now we should hand in this quest unless it tells me to do something else, but I don't think it will. Oh, no, wrong one. I need to go to the bulletin board. Heavy duty transport ship, wonderful, and I get 15,000 credits! 15,000 credits! Oh my god, that's amazing! Uh, and there we are, that is that handed in! And I can do more quests if I want to. So, we shall actually exit this area, because I want to see if I can explore that planet. We're not going to be done yet, no way we're done yet. This, this game's too enjoyable. Let's see if we can explore that planet. I don't know if anyone else has explored it yet. I hope they haven't. I want to see if I can explore it, because I don't know how. Because I was told you can um, stake your claim, stake, you know, name a planet, I should say. Uh, name a system and things like that. But I haven't done that yet. I want to see if I can do it. Um, but obviously I need to find the planet first, wherever you are. I should probably get out of this area first, actually. Because otherwise I'll just end up hitting the planet. What is that thing ahead of me? What, what, what the heck is that? What is that? I have no idea what that is. Is it like is it like, is it like a shield or something? Oh, it's tur oh, I see, it's turrets. Oh, it's a good job I'm not on your bad side, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I need to put I need to put some danger in my life in this game. I haven't found some danger yet. I need to find some danger. Uh, where's that planet gone? I saw it before. There it is. Is that the planet which I'm after? I think so. Is it? I don't know. You'd think it'd be explored by now. Uh, I'm oh, I'm too far. Need to get out of this area. Oh, I should probably bring my landing gear up, then I can go faster. Oh, blimey. I can't believe I've only just realised that. I feel so stupid that I've only just realised that. Oh, well, there we go. We're no longer mass locked. Right, so. Can I go to this planet yet? 
I don't know. Where's the planet gone? I've lost it. How do you lose a planet? <laughs> oh, blimey. Where's the planet gone? Okay, so I don't know why it's not appearing. Uh, like to say unexplored and all that. I'm guessing I'll go into this drive and see if it appears again? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, unexplored. Okay, so if I... I want to explore it. Not Obviously you're not going to explore the planet, but I want to see the planet. I'm going to hit the planet! No! No, I'm not going to... Oh, no, stop! Stop! I am slowing down! Bloody hell! Bloody hell! Bloody hell! Dropping too close, are you going to bring me back? Oh, bloody hell! I thought I was going to hit the planet! Bloody hell! Oh, right, so... We're at the planet now, what do I have to do? Joke, joke one, two... Okay! Okay, so, so, so it's not in... It's... I don't get it. Okay, so here, here we are at this place, but what can I do with this? I don't know. Unlock destination. I don't really know what the heck, what the heck I'm doing. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I don't really know how you would name a planet or name a system. I'm assuming there's some way to do it, but I was told you could. I don't know if I'm wrong or not. But I was told you could. So anyway, this is the planet. Pretty pretty, kind of. It's just it looks like it's had quite a battering over its time. Uh, but anyway, it's just called Japonwin Two. So this Japonwin's name is a system, but it's not been given. This planet's not been given an actual name. Body exclusion zone hit, so obviously I can't go to the planet because they don't allow you to go to down to planets, which is a bummer. But. Never mind. So anyway, I think we're going to leave it there. This, is, this has been Elite Dangerous. It is too fun of a game. There's so much to do in this universe, in this universe, in this galaxy. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell. I'm going to wait until we go to the frame shift. Frame shift. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Align with escape vector. What's that? Oh, this is new. Didn't know there was even escape vector around. Uh, ah, I see. Okay. Okay, let's align with that. I'm aligned. Four, three, two, one. one. Whee! So anyway, that has been Elite Dangerous. It is a fun game. You can... Go to the link in the description if you want to buy it. Seriously, buy it. It's too fun. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.